Hey everybody and welcome back to the Motor One channel where today we're getting our first drive opportunity, first quick drive of the Jeep Magneto concept car. It's all electric, has a six speed manual. Let's go check it out. So this is about as quick and dirty as uh, video opportunities get around here. So bear with me on the quality, but let's spend a couple of minutes with this because that's literally all we have with the Magneto concept. What is that? So this is a car that's been in the works with Jeep for a couple of years now. And they actually said it, it's a year late because of the pandemic. So this is a 2018 two-door Rubicon Wrangler uh, with a six-speed manual. And it had the standard Pentastar V6 powertrain. And Jeep said, we're all done with that. And what we're gonna do instead is make it a full battery electric vehicle. So what you have effectively is their perfect marriage of a real Jeep with all the suspension, all of the same goodies you would expect from a Rubicon. However, no gas, all electric in this case, uh, and it's absolutely insane. Why did they make this? Well, Jeep is actually very clear about this. They said, this is a working case study. They, they bring these concept cars out to Moab to uh, let their customers play with them, and in our case, the media, to see what the market thinks of them and and is there a customer for such a vehicle of course they have the the 4xe that's going into production in just a matter of weeks now so they are electrifying the wrangler but this is basically our first taste of what a fully electric wrangler might look like uh, and that's kind of crazy to think about but i love where they started with this because everything you would expect to have on a wrangler is still here it still has the Fox suspension, it has a slight two inch lift. It's got a winch on the front. Uh, under the hood, there is a ton of battery packs, but, but there's still the hood scoop. You would look at this from far away and think that, well, there's really nothing all that special about it. Magneto, although people had a bunch of theories on the internet that it had to do with superheroes, not the case. <laughs> the, the designer was telling us early today that Magneto really just has to do with the fact that this car is powered by the attraction of magnets when you think about electric vehicles and how they function. So they rolled with the name Magneto uh, and sort of the blue motif that you can find on the, the Wrangler 4xe. You got a little charging window here. This is pretty much identical to what you get in the, the 4xe, the production uh, uh, plug-in hybrid electric Jeep. That's kind of cool. And then other than that, you get the blue motif that's also going to be on the 4xe, which makes sense how they tied it in here with Magneto. And then some really cool blue touches on the roll cage. And then as we go around, you got a 4xe badge as well, so they can tie it in with the 4xe. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, and I asked about this. I said, is electric four-wheel drive this badge something we're going to see a lot more of in the future? And of course, they didn't want to answer that question. So who knows? We might be seeing that badge on a bunch of Jeeps in the future. So in a lot of ways, I think we're looking at the first step toward the future here. It wouldn't surprise me to see this very concept car in some museum someday as sort of a Jeep's first official attempt to make the Wrangler electric and not just a plug-in hybrid like we're gonna see with the 4xe, but a legit complete battery electric vehicle. Um, <laughs> the six-speed manual throws me off, I have to say. Of course, that's a nod to enthusiasts. Uh, Jeep did say that if this car ever did make production, that sticking with the six-speed manual is probably highly unlikely. But the rest of the parts that they kept on it, the important stuff, the fact that this still has uh, a low-range gearbox, the fact that this still has big tires with the exact same approach and departure angles as, as the gas-powered Wrangler, that it still has the same suspension setup, that's all important. And to see this truck handling itself with the rest of the gas-powered Jeeps around it kind of confirms that, that this is supposed to be a Jeep first and foremost, and although it's an EV, that was sort of a secondary thought in this case. So now we're about to set off in what is probably the world's quickest first drive of the Magneto concept, but I just want to show you the, the startup procedure and what it looks like from the driver's angle. So yeah, we have the manual transmission right here. The startup procedure is in second and they said yeah the foot is on the clutch and then the next thing you do is release the e-brake and then bear with me here because this is the weird part you take your foot off the clutch 
and the car doesn't stall. It really doesn't have uh, a potential to stall because that's not how batteries work. There's nothing to stall. The Jeep said that we're not starting in first gear because in four high, which is what the car is in right now, uh, second gear offers a lot more power. So what we're gonna do right now is basically just rock crawl for five minutes as uh, we head back into camp. Jeep took a 2018 model year Rubicon with the V6 and a manual transmission. That car was so unique apparently that they didn't even have one on their campus. They had to go to a dealer to buy a donor car uh, and then they ripped the guts out of it. They ripped out the back seats, they ripped out the engine obviously, but they kept the transmission, they kept the four high, four low, and all the foundational parts that you would expect in a Rubicon. They said, as this car sits right here, without the back seats in it, without the doors, without the roof, just sort of weigh it as you go, this vehicle is about 5,750 pounds. It's heavy, it's obviously very heavy. Um, the power that it has mimics the, the Rubicon V6. So it's 285 horsepower uh, and a torque figure somewhere in the 300s. I don't have the exact number, but they do uh, limit the torque as well, uh, basically just to make it more fun. So as you row through the gears, which is something we're not gonna get to do right now uh, because this is a concept vehicle and it probably costs somewhere over a million dollars to be honest with you. So we can't take it on the road, but in theory, if you took it on the road and got it up to speed, you could row through the gears and basically mimic the experience of a gas engine. But for right now, it's anything but that. In second gear, foot is off the clutch, car is not stalled, e-brake is down, and here we go. It's interesting because the only noises you hear are actually quite mechanical or I guess just visceral really. You hear dirt on tire because it's happening right there and there's no engine noise to cover it up. Uh, and then you hear the slight whirring from the batteries. I don't know if you remember those little like battery powered Jeeps that you would roll around in as a kid in your backyard. This is just the adult sized version of that. At least it feels like that. A little bit of rock crawling in the Magneto. Straighten it out here. So easy, like nothing. All right, now what we're gonna try and do without breaking this in my last 100 yards of driving this or so is a gear change. So ready, clutch goes in, into second gear, <laughs> pretty uneventful. But I have to tell you, that was probably the coolest gear change of my life. Um, used the clutch for it, felt the power start to tap out at the high end of first gear. And then it basically just goes into second and it's got a lot more guts in second. We're just on a rock shelf right now, so I can't really send it too much harder than this. Um, wow, what a cool experience. Uh, if this is the norm for off-roading in the future, you know, tomorrow we're driving the Wrangler 392, a big old rumbly V8. And of course, that's what sounds familiar to us as off-road enthusiasts. But there's something about this, the, how easy that rock crawl was. We're gonna do another one right here. So that does mimic a normal gearbox and that there's a little bit of an incline there and second gear wasn't gonna cut it. So I stopped the car, put it back down in a first, uh, and then it grabs onto the torque so much easier in first gear. So as abnormal as this thing is to drive, it has a lot of normal qualities to it that you would expect with any other Wrangler. So that was our very quick first taste of the Jeep Magneto concept. And honestly, it's probably the only chance we're gonna get to drive it. Uh, this is the first step for some really serious future stuff with the Wrangler and to drive it here in Moab was completely special. So thanks for joining us this time. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give it a like and follow us on Instagram as well, at MotorOneCom.